what I want to do is bring a couple of samples, uh, closed cell, and open cell, polyurethane foam. Also, you can consider this a 1.7 pound foam or a half pound foam is another a couple of generic names they use in the industry. Um, in this particular case, why do we want to use closed cell foam or an open cell foam? All right, really simple. Open cell foam, we put this product underneath the house. There is no vapor retardancy in this, or minimal vapor retardancy. Vapor will go right through this product very easily. It actually is open cells. Water can pass through it as well. Uh, in a case like this, you put this underneath your floor and have that sprayed on. Water can easily pass right through this product, through the, through the several forces that bring water vapor into the house from underneath, four different forces that will easily pass right through this product. It will get caught right at, if you have a polyurethane coated floor, as most of us do here in New Orleans, what can happen in a case like that is water vapor will stop at that polyurethane coating on your floor. Polyurethane is a vapor barrier. Um, once it goes through this product, gets trapped on your, on your floorboards and it can't go any further, it is very possible, if you cannot dehumidify it, it's very possible for those floors to buckle because it's absorbing water vapor. Water vapor is just a gaseous form of water. Once enough water vapor accumulates, assuming the right temperatures, relative humidity, and that's when you hit, you hit, you hit your dew point and that's when you can get some condensation to develop. And that, in that case is when the floors may potentially buckle. Is it going to happen? There's no question. It does, it does, it may or may not, but you're rolling the dice if you want to take that chance. All right, also, some people would say, well, I don't have uh, polyurethane coating on my floors, um, and uh, I, don't wanna, I, I don't believe in any of that. I still want to go in open cell foam. All right, let's talk about the R, R value of open cell foam and how that's affected by vapor. When you're looking at an R value of something, that is assuming under factory conditions that there is no vapor present in the product. Once you introduce but water vapor, relative humidity, moisture. This is New Orleans, we're full of moisture, 90, 95, 100% relative humidity. Once a product is faced with that, and this is absorbing moisture, what happens in that case is it cuts your R value down greatly. Why is that? Water molecules, vapor, are just floating water molecules, H2O molecules floating around in the air, floating around inside. Water is a great conductor of energy, electricity, heat, and what happens is because of the water molecules floating around, the millions of water molecules moving easily past the open cell uh, uh, structure of this, that is allowing heat to transfer very quickly through all those water molecules. So you put an open cell product underneath your floor, probably most reason is you want to feel more comfortable in the wintertime. You don't want that chill on your floor. Is it going to help? It's going to help, but you're getting a minimal benefit from it in that case because it is cutting the actual R value of this product down. This is a great product. Open Cell is a wonderful product if you have a vapor barrier or you're retarding vapor flow through it. But when you put it in a case like this, where the vapor pressure is extremely high, you're not doing much for this product.